Well, I got, I got a, I got a story today. It's a doozy. I, uh, I started like probably two weeks ago this idea of you know doing a simple uh, Crusader Kings three uh, Agot multiplayer, and like seven people were like, yeah, I'll play. And that was it. And I was like, really? No, no one wants to play this. I was kind of bummed out. I was like, where are all my gamers at? And then uh, some guy asked if he could invite his friends, and I was like, yeah, sure, man, invite your friends, man. I need, I need, I want someone to play with. And they started inviting people. And I'm guessing this is how my friend Deathslayer found out about it. He was asking if, uh, well, let me give you context. Deathslayer owns a really big Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer server. And he was asking if he could, uh, you know, invite his guys over. And I was like, yeah, man, sure. And then uh, somehow it got brought up in the Crusader Kings Game of Thrones uh, Discord server. From there, I, I guess it kind of went viral, like it was on Reddit. And yeah, that led to 158 or so people asking if they could uh, join in. We had like a little sign-up sheet. And I was like, no way 158 people are going to show up. And well, they didn't. It was about 86, but still. Uh, that was a lot of people trying to join a Crusader Kings 3 lobby. What followed beforehand was intense Diplo. I've never seen this much role-playing, this much LARPing. This lasted for a week. Every week, alliances were changing. And like, it was all through like Discord DMs. Like, there were so many Vipers, bro. And man, it was fun. Though I think Mace Tyrell probably took things a little too far, though. On the day of the great game, we gathered everyone. All the Knights of the Realm. All the, the gamers, as they call them. We gathered them to let them into the biggest Crusader Kings 3 lobby I've uh, ever done. It crashed. We let them all in at one time and it died. So the backup plan was to let them in over time. It took like 40 minutes to get this going. But hey, it, it worked. Props to the staff on the, the Discord side of things. Uh, the, it was running It was running pretty well. We got 79 people ready to go. I mean, like, there were more people trying to get in, but I feel like if we just kept letting people in, we'd never get it started, and we had been hosting for 50 minutes. I didn't want to jinx anything. So sorry to the gamers who didn't get in. We'll get you in a future game. I, I promise. I, I hope I can promise that. Robert's Rebellion was underway, and I hadn't really taken a side yet. I was waiting for all these grand offers to come my way, and, uh, there were a few, but, uh, one of them I couldn't refuse. The Mad King player and Rhaegar's player, they uh, they came to me and they said, well, if you join us, you can matrilineally marry Cersei to Rhaegar. And I was like, hey, that's pretty good, because Robert Baratheon, he had offered the same thing, but with Stannis. But Rhaegar, now we're talking. The die had been cast. It's over, Bobby B. I was running my ass down there. I was kind of late. Fortunately for us, someone on the opposing side decided to cross the river. I don't know why they did that. That allowed us to get across the river, and uh, a big battle ensued. You hadn't been there. All the thugs of the realm were in there, and I mean, like, everyone. Name a thug, he was there. Everyone except Quaylon. For some reason, well, I don't know why I say for some reason, but he was raiding Dragonstone. Which meant that Rhaegar was actually fighting in the field. I mean, we won the battle, but, uh, Bobby B, well, let's just say, uh, well, he killed Rhaegar and fucked over my whole plan. He screwed me, he screwed me up. Now I felt like I had no purpose to be fighting in this war. Like, uh, I was, a, uh, I was a big G, I was a baller, I had all my vassals in. We were doing great stuff. But for what? Rhaegar died. That was the only reason I joined. Though, funny story, one of my vassals was kind of like looting and stuff over here. And, uh, well, Bobby B found him. And he was like running for his life. He was like screaming. He was like, please, please save me. He was like running, bro. They caught him. Luckily for him, though, the honorable Mace Tyrell was like right there. And he was like, I'll handle this. Because he was a cool guy. He's a nice guy. It was a crushing defeat for Robert Baratheon. Which ended the war. And then Bobby B broke out of prison. Unfortunately, Stannis died in the war. Uh, I guess you can't have everything, Baratheon bros. Now, I kind of felt trolled here. I was like, get me a marriage now, Ares. So I was like joining factions left and right. I needed someone to marry my bad bitch daughter. I mean, I got one with Rinley, and then Robert died, and then he broke up with her. Evil guy. Then the Riverlands went to war again. I don't know what their game plan was here. But they were kind of hyped for it. 
Then Robert Baratheon's ghost came and he was trying to steal Cersei. Like, you're a ghost. Go do a ghost stuff like uh, make objects levitate. But don't worry, I got my marriage to Viserys matrilineally, so I guess it worked out for me. But Cersei will be Cersei, I mean, <laughs> well, what can I do? Even at this point, we still had a lot of players in. I was like, man, this is actually running well. I, I thought like it would have crashed and burned, but it didn't. Now I built my realm with the idea of everyone is awesome and sexy and good looking. And well, my vassals, they took that seriously. While I was spending time in my court full of naked dudes, Jaime Lannister died in the Riverlands Revolt. Now my entire kingdom relied on Cersei, and my, uh, my other family members, they were just LARPing. The Mad King died, and now we're ruled by a baby. He told me he committed a Tommen and jumped out a window. Also, I found out he was banging my daughter, and well, there's only one way to handle someone like that. Gay sex? All I'm gonna say? as I found out why they call him the Red Viper. The Dornishmen and the Reachmen were mad. They wanted me to overthrow the government with them because they were mad at Aegon. They were all promised marriages and then a lot of Targaryens died and they were kind of left uh, holding the bag there. All I'm gonna say is I wasn't complaining that they wanted to put uh, the Ceres in the throne, that's all I'm saying. Of course, before I decided to overthrow the government, I spoke with my, uh, my grandest counselor, the Meat Rider. The child was overthrown for another child monarch. Good work, gang. Yeah, I don't know what the phrase are up to. I'm, I'm not gonna lie here. But unlike the phrase, I was a conqueror of them cheeks. <laughs> now, it's no CK3 multiplayer game without some vassal trying to revolt against you. So I sicked the hound on him. Then the Greyjoys joined in, and they brought a league of lackeys against me. Although we were on Pike, we were outnumbered, to say the least. Then they all revolted against our great king, invalidating the war. Unfortunately for the Starks, they joined into this war on the losing side, and I six Sandor on them. Gangsta Benjen stood no chance. After getting captured by Sandor, I decided to kill him because I didn't want him in the war anymore. Now the North is ruled by Sans uh, Undertale of the Doomer Starks. This Greyjoy fighting went on forever. Like this was like an hour-long back and forth war, and no one really ever won ever. But eventually. We won, you know, the realm because we're awesome, and we shared uh, we shared our prosperity with the Ironborn. We still had a lot of people playing at this point, but like, it, it kind of died down. People kind of had their fun with the Ironborn War. So I asked the Riverlands if they wanted to put my grandson on the throne. Chad Edmure said, "Sure, man, I'll do it." So next, I had to ask Mace Tyrell, and he was like, "Yeah, man, gameplay." And so we sent our demands to the king. And then he did Operation Ult F4. And I can't blame him. We only did this because uh, we were bored. He was actually a good king. And that's how the game went down. Now, at the end of the video, I gotta send thanks to the people who helped get this whole thing going. First, I gotta thank the modders. They made the mod, and they're pretty helpful in gathering hype for this. They were pretty excited about the prospects of an MP game. And I gotta thank the Crusader Kings multiplayer Discord server for creating the infrastructure that set this up. None of this would have been possible without them, and none of this would have been possible without the people who played in the game, so thank y'all, and I hope y'all had a good time, and gamers, let's try to do this again sometime. Adios.